the bloody bibio, an imitation of the heather fly, or bibio pomene, with its striking black and scarlet coloration. The hook is a Kamazan B175, size 12, thread Beneki, 12 volt in black, and the first material on is a whiting popper pack, dyed red. They're also sold as craft feathers. Tie in the feather right at the eye. Run it down a few turns and then trim the waist. And tie in the next hackle, which is a black saddle hackle. Third material is the ribbing, a fine silver wire, which I tie in underneath, and then run the thread to the end of the shank. Leave the wire. Insert it into the thread. Will be some seals fur or substitute. I've made a mix of black and red in uh, equal amounts. I've flattened the thread, now split it. This is the dubbing that will go in. Teasing it out a little and then Spin the bobbin holder to put the twists back into the thread and to secure the seals fur. Then wrap. Pretty spiky body. Next, wrap the black hackle which then gets trapped by the silver wire and spiraled forward trap the wire and simply helicopter it off Brush the seals for a back a bit and trim away the tip. A key feature of a bibio are the long trailing legs. I've knotted two barbs of uh, magpie feather for one leg and another one for the opposite leg. The legs are quite gangly and long so where they're tied in they extend quite back there's a separate video on knotting legs on YouTube. Then 
and get rid of the excess. Finally, clip on some hackle pliers to wrap the front hackle, which will add some more of the red color. Just trap the tip and cut forward. Now, pull back the hackle so that a small, neat head can be formed. And finish it off with a three turn whip finish. legs are kicking up a bit so just bring them down and have them flare outward like so so that they kick nicely as the fly gets pulled through the ripple And that completes the bloody Bibio.